Good evening. We at Our Lady Queen of Peace just wanted to take a little time together, together in a time of social distancing, to be able to pray for an end to the evil that is racism. We will use the prayer from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops and have some time just to be together in silent prayer. Eight minutes and 46 seconds of silent prayer. Our hearts are heavy, and so we lift them up to the Lord as we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We light three candles. We pray for an end to racism and an end to all prejudice. We pray for the repose of the souls of George Floyd and Tony Robinson and all who have been hurt, who have suffered, and who have died because of racism and prejudice. And we light a candle for the unspoken prayers that lie in the stillness of our hearts. Let's pray together. Mary, friend and mother to all, through your Son, God has found a way to unite himself to every human being called to be one people, sisters and brothers to each other. We ask for your help in calling on your son, seeking forgiveness for the times when we have failed to love and respect one another. We ask for your help in obtaining from your son the grace we need to overcome the evil of racism and to build a just society. We ask for your help in following your son so that prejudice and animosity will no longer infect our minds or hearts, but will be replaced with a love that respects the dignity of each person. Mother of the Church, the spirit of your son Jesus warms our hearts. Pray for us.
This is from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops Statement on Racism. Open wide our hearts. Racism occurs because a person ignores the fundamental truth that because all humans share a common origin, they are all brothers and sisters, all equally made in the image of God. When this truth is ignored, the consequence of, is prejudice and fear of the other, and all too often, hatred. Racism shares in the same evil that moved Cain to kill his brother. It arises from suppressing the truth that his brother Abel was also created in the image of God, a human equal to himself. Every racist act, every such comment, every joke, every disparaging look as a reaction to the color of skin, ethnicity, or place of origin is a failure to acknowledge another person as a brother or sister created in the image of God. In these and many other such acts, the sin of racism persists in our own lives, in our country, and in our work. Together we pray. Mary, friend, friend and mother, mother to all, through your son, God has found a way to unite himself to every human being, called to be one people, sisters and brothers to each other. We ask for your help in calling on your son, seeking forgiveness for the times when we have failed to love and respect one another. We ask for your help in obtaining from your son the grace we need to overcome the evil of racism and to build a just society. We ask for your help in following your son so that prejudice and animosity will no longer infect our minds or hearts, but will be replaced with a love that respects the dignity of each person. Mother of the Church, the spirit of your son Jesus warms our hearts. Pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless your evening. May God bless you. May God bless your family, your friends. God bless. <laughs>